L.B. Mabitov joins us right now, the owner of L.A.B. Zoo. Uh, of course, major, major draw for Los Angeles, who loved the stuff that she had. But now, of course, she gave up dealing with all the crime. Uh, Ellie, good to have you. Explain what happened. Hi. So, you know, it was really great to open in the Beverly Center. Um, we had, you know, really great, you know, neighbors with Tiffany's and Fendi and Burberry. Um, however, you know, those are labels that do draw a lot of grab and runs, unfortunately. And, you know, we were sitting ducks and in the Beverly Center, unfortunately, there wasn't the level of security to really look out for us as retailers. Um, you know, even from, you know, how we would access our stores, uh, it was accessible to everyone. You know, the doors automatically open and anyone can walk through that hallway, check to see if your store is open and steal from your store. Um, so not only were there grab and runs, um, when we do report things to security, there is, we're told essentially there's nothing that they can do. Um, and we are just really left open and exposed. And unfortunately with the level of uh, you know products that I had in the store and the price points um, I just wasn't able to leave myself as a sitting duck in such a location it's very sad obviously because you had some great stuff people swore by it and and then when they heard that you were closing they they, they swore at what 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 happened to you and I'm just wondering uh, it kept happening a lot of times in broad daylight when did this yeah. all accelerate <laughs> You know, um, it's interesting because in California, there was the EDD, and once EDD kind of stopped that payment, it seemed like there was just a level of desperation um, mm -hmm. that arose in people across across the board. And unfortunately, there's not really a profile um, because it's not just, you know, grab and runs um, and smash and grabs. Um, we also recently had, you know, a celebrity stylist of uh, Brandy Norwood try to, you know, borrow a ring and, you know, disappear with the ring. So um, there's just all kinds of different levels of theft happening right now that are, you know, unimaginable, really. But what was security doing or what were local police doing? I mean, when you asked for or wanted help, what, what, what was going on? You know, in instances with the security at the Beverly Center, when you report something, they say, we'll watch out for them, but there's nothing that, you know, we can do. Um, they will say, sorry, that person said they don't have anything. There's nothing that we can do. Um, so a lot of stores were just watching people walk off with their merchandise, which That's is very incredible. frustrating. And, you know, if the measures aren't put in place by the actual center to even help us prevent such measures, you know, we're really out a loss and even when we had to report the celebrity stylist to the police I mean we had to talk to three four police before we could actually get to a detective so right? you know we were told at first make the, make the report online you know it's a fifty thousand dollar ring how can I report it online <laughs> incredible so what do you do now you know now it's really about trying and always to find the safest place possible. Um, you know, you used to say, okay, if I'm in Beverly Hills, these types of things probably won't happen. But then you have the robbery of, you know, the Richard Meal I watch at gunpoint at a Beverly Hills restaurant. Right. Um, you have the things that have happened in Hancock Park. So as a retailer, it's not only about protecting my brands, but I also have to protect the people that work for me. I can't ask someone who works for me to you know, protect a diamond ring when someone could have weapons, guns, knives. So um, it's really such a volatile climate and it's really difficult to navigate and find out where's the best place to open and how do we open and still stay safe. Well, I hope you stay safe and I hope you are okay. Uh, but man, oh man, Elliot Mabitoff, uh, please keep us posted. A lot of people are saying they hope you reopen again and, or, or somewhere else, uh, but be well, be safe. Thank you so much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.